too to uh, the preseason update that I've been giving you. Uh, so now that we have uh, gotten my trail sled and we're working on our race sleds, um, for this year, uh, Joel and I really had a big discussion on um, being able to transport our sleds. Usually we have to borrow um, his dad's truck or his brother's truck um, or his dad's trailer and his brother's trailer. And instead of constantly doing that year after year, since we're going to want to take our own trips and get up to the races um, sometimes on our own, you know, earlier or later than um, everybody else, um, Joel did a lot of research and first we wanted to uh, get a pickup truck. So we wanted to get something that was at least a half ton truck, um, four wheel drive standard, um, really weren't looking for any particular brand. Um, but after a lot of searching, uh, Joel ended up getting a 2001 uh, Chevy Silverado. Um, it actually is the uh, Z71 series. So four wheel drive comes standard. Um, it has the uh, off-road package on it as well. Leather seats, um, heated seats too. Um, the original owner put in an aftermarket radio, which is really nice. Um, it does have a side step bed. So instead of just the standard bed, which a lot of people like, you know, you do you lose a little bit of room. But for me, it's, it's nice because I'm so short, I can get into the bed a lot easier on this one. Now, probably the best thing I like about this truck um, is this. Remote start. So on those really cold days where, you know, you don't want to go outside to have to start your vehicle and start warming it up and we just want to get to a race, we can start this from the house. So that was a really nice addition that kind of came with the truck and didn't have to do anything extra to be able to do that. So now that we had the truck and we had all the capabilities to be able to pull the trailer, we needed to get our own trailer. So again, Joel with his researching skills, uh, went on Craigslist and we found a 2013 uh, Look Element trailer. The trailer we ended up getting is a 7 foot by 16 foot trailer. It's got a 1 foot V in the front, very good condition. Um, the guys that sold to us, I actually knew their uh, kids from high school. Uh, so we've done a couple things to the trailer. Uh, it will fit uh, both of our sleds very comfortably. Now, on the back of the trailer, um, the door and then the entire floor, we ended up putting down extra plywood. Um, that's going to make sure that the original floor of the trailer is going to be protected from both the studs and our picks. And when that gets ripped up, it's a cheap way to just rip that out and put new stuff in. So pop some screws, put some new stuff in, done. The nice thing that we did with the door is these pieces here. So we have the piece of rubber going up the middle and then the pieces here along the side are ski guides and then these little flip pieces here. These are your ski glides. It's all made by caliber. So we can literally drive our sleds straight in. So these flaps actually fold down and they'll sit, you know, depending on the level uh, the door is sitting when it's, it's dropped. You drop all these pieces down and it's going to literally glide your skis and the snowmobile straight in. Now the other problem that some people have is that gap in between the door and the actual floor of the trailer. So kind of the same concept, this is actually one continuous piece. So this literally flips down so that your carbides don't get caught on this edge at all. So you're not ripping up any piece of this. So we have Joel's F6 in here right now, um, just to make a little bit more room in our garage. And some things that we've done on the inside of the trailer. When we're at the races, it's pretty cold out, and sometimes you just need to warm up. When we're putting on gear, when we're taking off our gear, it, it's pretty cold. So what we've done up here, this black fabric that you see all around, these are actually moving blankets that people use to move uh, furniture, panels, things like that. This is creating an insulation barrier to keep heat in. So the ceiling, we had some extra insulation sheets from when we were building the house. 
So Joel cut all of these pieces and then lined this section of the trailer with those so that we're not losing as much heat out the top of the trailer. And then this middle portion here, actually there's a curtain that we can actually close off this section here in the front. We got that one foot V like I mentioned before with the shelf on top of it so we can put our tools up here, we can put our gear up here. And then with our doorway, um, this door kind of sticks a little bit and when you're at the races you kind of want to get in and out really easily. So this vinyl here, um, it's actually off of um, stripdoorsonline.com. Um, you can custom make the door um, to, the, you basically tell them what size door you have and then they will cut the vinyl strips of your choosing, you can actually choose the thickness of them, they'll cut them so that you will fit the door. So you want a little bit of overlap um, between the panels themselves and then a little bit longer and over to the side so you're really keeping the heat in. So Joel also purchase a generator and an electric heater um, that we can easily plug in and set in here and it actually gets pretty toasty in here. Um, so this is really going to help us when we're at the races and we really need that heat um, to kind of warm up and take our gear off and put our gear on. Um, and even when we're uh, going on trips and uh, you know just kind of need to warm up. <coughs> so with all of the things that we've done to the trailer, getting the truck, getting my trail sled, um, we're really going to be able to have a lot of independence, um, now being able to take trips um, up north, uh, do some trail riding up there, and having a lot of independence then going to the races ourselves. So, hope you guys enjoy the videos. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.